Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. I have a case study for you based on a project that was created recently by one of our customers. This is by P. L. Burgo. He's a Canadian uh, motion designer and he's done a lot of sports work. You can see his portfolio, I'll link it below. It's really awesome. But he was going for a project that needed some powder explosions and he was curious if we had any. So we have a pack that's in development that will be coming out soon with these, but right now it's not ready. So instead what he did was he took an explosion and this is from our explosions pack three. And usually these are used for photo reel explosions, but you can see that they have these sort of smoky trails coming behind them. And he thought that he could go ahead and use these as more of a motion design element, which I had never thought about doing. But um, his project turned out so cool, I wanted to share with you. So this is the project. You can see that we have these really nice colored explosions that look a bit more like ink or powder. And it was actually really, really easy. So here is his scene file. And all you have are a bunch of these VDBs. They are duplicated and then they're scaled down or rotated so they're in different positions. And then half of them are blue and half of them are red. And what you get is this really nice powder explosion type look. So to color these, what he did was he went into the VDB and normally you would have under the emission, you would have temperature channel, which gives you that kind of fiery hot explosion. Well, you just clear that out so there's no emission and then all you're left with is the smoke and then you can change the color of the smoke in the absorption and you can make that any color you want. And then it becomes much more of a stylized element. So in Redshift, this is what the explosion looks like when it's photoreal. And what we can do is go into the texture here and if you go to the emission, we'll just delete the temperature and then you're left with the smoke here. And then if you go up to the scatter, under the tint here, we can just change this. So let's go to a nice blue color. You can see that we're able to tint it very easily. Now it's a little bit dark, so we could go to our sky. We could maybe kick up the intensity of our lights. And now we're getting a lot more of that powder look, but it is a bit too dense. So what you can do is go into the texture. And if you go to the advanced tab, there's a few different remapping settings. You can take the density scale down a little bit. It'll kind of give a little bit less details in the density. And then you can go to the new max and you can play around with that. It's a little bit less dense and something like that. You could pull off that powder look. All right. So then what you would do is just take this volume loader, duplicate it. We'll pause that really quick. We'll go in here. Maybe we'll rotate it down. We'll put it down here and somewhere like that. Then we can offset it as well. So we'll go to our volume loader and go to our offset right here. We can just change that a little bit so we have a different start time. And you can also play with the scale if you want to. We make this one a bit smaller, something like that. And then all you have to do is take the volume, duplicate it, put it on that new one, go into this one, and under the tint, we can turn that to a red color. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So that red is too saturated, but we can bring that back. And there you go, we have sort of a powder look for these explosions, which makes it such a fun motion design element. All right, huge shout out to P.L. Borgo. Make sure to check out his work. I'll put a link below. So I hope that this kind of opens up your mind to some new possibilities using our assets and using VDBs in general, because all of them can be colorized and all of them can become a bit more of a stylized element. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time. Ciao.